<laughs> Did you suffer from the uh, novel coronavirus? Did you get it? I get it every month pretty much dude <laughs> yeah. i get it all the fucking time i got the johnson and johnson vaccine and i think it just gets covid more for you <laughs> i i i've had it i've tested positive four times which means i've had it God fucking damn. eight times what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> you guys all fucking have it all the time too yeah. no i don't i had it once and i had that natty immunity went how many times you ever get any tested? colds I, I tested like 10 times for real yeah, but we yeah we always got tested during this. We had little kids. Yeah, so we would like get tested for it constantly. I never got it during COVID. Now I'm getting sick every fucking. Are you minutes. really? Yeah, I finally got a little chest thing, but I think it's allergies. But yeah, I haven't tested recently. Oh my god, I'll never test for it ever again. Probably. Yeah, I had to test because I have a baby, and that's what my I was girlfriend doing. was positive that I was the one that gave it to her. And after she tested negative, she just looked at me until I took the test, and I was like, "We know, we know what's going to happen here. It's gonna. It, it was immediate." As soon as you drop the fucking thing and it's like COVID, COVID, COVID. (laughs) Did your baby get COVID? Yeah, the baby had COVID. She had a fever. Nothing though? No, just a fever. And and then Maggie had COVID for the first time and it destroyed her for five days. Really? Completely fucked her up. Recently? Yeah, Yeah, like December. Damn. Mm -hmm. She went fucking four years and I finally gave it to her. Finally gave it to that bitch good. You've had it like nine times? (laughs) Dude, so many times. (laughs) I just quarantined in my upstairs bedroom I bet for like was five days huh was that difficult it was the best fucking I dude i would order <laughs> dominoes you would just bring it up to the fucking door oh. <laughs> and i would say i'm done with my dommies can you put it in the fridge and put it on the top of the steps dude, you were the covid king <laughs> you're saving dominoes that's wild what am i gonna do leave it in the fucking room to get whole nasty? box baby yeah, whole that box. Whole box dude you know how much i'm ordering in one order <laughs> would you, would, okay was it at least sticks of some sort you got bread? cheesy bread? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cheesy bread is fucking bananas, dude. That shit cheesy is so good. so good. Yeah, that one is cheesy bread so is crazy. The barbecue chicken bites, banging. That's crazy. Every time, what banging. Cinnamon, bu- cinnamon sticks are crazy. You're going to need a dessert <laughs> yeah. to wash down the bread. That's three lava cakes, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you lying. You get the lava cake? Yeah. You get the lava cake, They used to put two bread. in a box. Now they put four, three is in a box. Any, is there a pizza involved also? Yeah, obviously there's a medium sausage Holy and feta shit, pizza. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Four <laughs> items, five ninety nine a piece. You get three apps at Domino's. If I order Domino's, it's gonna feed me for three days. <laughs> if I'm paying that fucking delivery fee, I'm How getting my Shiro? money's worth. What's microwave Domino's like? Uh, Righteous. Is obviously hold up? bad. I love I love Domino's Domino's. I love Domino's pizza. <laughs> it's tough to go back to. Domino's. I always liked it, man. I yeah. fucked with their deep dish too. Everyone's like their deep dish is gross. I'm like, dude, that stuff was my best. Everything, everything they make was it was so good. Yeah, thin crust. Come on, thin come crust. On. Thin crust. Thin crust. Is like, what am I? It was like a salad. Yeah, the whole thin crust of the <laughs> head, dude. Yeah, thin crust is like easily one full thin crust. Not even thinking about it's a it. Snack. Bro. On to the next one. That was a snack. <laughs> they never did. They ever stuff their crust? I don't think they ever went. I don't think they were allowed. I think Pizza Hut would have sued them. Papa John's has been doing it. Papa John's just got into it. Really? But they, stuffing the shit out. They say uh, it's Papa John's crust stuffed for legal reasons. Not uh, Papa John's stuffed crust. Was and that I like ordered a post, it the other day. Is that a post N-word? <laughs> <laughs> I ordered the new Calzone stuffed crust. It's supposed to have ricotta in the crust as, long, as well as mozzarella. There was no fucking ricotta in there. <laughs> and they still charge me the $15 for it. Do you think that was like a post like legal damage from their CEO using the N word? Uh huh. They're like, we got to stuff the crust. Yeah. Our image is tainted. We got to stuff the crust. If you want to meet us in court, Pizza Hut, we'll be there and we won't have John Schnatter. We'll have Shaquille O'Neal representing <laughs> us. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> the big Aristotle is now in the fucking courtroom. <laughs> All rise. <laughs> yeah, that was a good move, dude, bringing in the big Aristotle. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't say no. I thought no qualms at all. As soon as he took the reins, I was like, bring I'll be Papa honest. back in. I'll be honest. When I heard about what Papa's crime was, I forgave him. I forgave our daddy. <laughs> daddy Papa. Papa. Daddy's in the house. Papa's in the house. Yeah, Wasn't he quoting? He was quoting during yeah. a PR meeting about how not to say it. Yeah. He was like, what are you talking about? People say it all the time. And he goes, he's the leader of the organization. He goes, look, guys, here's what we're not going to do. Yeah. We're not going to say the N-word. He say might the sound N-word like this. Over a conference call. And then the PR firm they hired reported him. What? Yeah. What? I think they were the ones who reported him. That might have been corporate espionage, though. Sounds like, yeah, Little Caesar sent over mm-hmm. some fucking little snitches. Pizza, pizza. Yeah. <laughs> little snitches. Pizza, pizza. What do you think uh, Shatner's, <laughs> how, how do you say his name? Schnatter. Schnatter. What do you think Schnatter's phrase is if Little Caesar's is pizza, pizza? 
It's probably. <laughs> what do you think it is? If you had to just use comedy and come up with a funny. <laughs> Better. What's the funniest one? Ingredients. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, man, how did you feel? Did you turn on Papa John's? Did you boycott them? I was never a Papa John's guy. What were you? Donimo's. Donimo's, pizza. man. Yeah, yeah, but their garlic sauce was... Mm. The garlic that sauce. That might have been a secret ingredient in the garlic sauce. It might have opened every cap and just whispered in <laughs> Whispered it in. You go, I, don't, I know this is bad, but it's so <laughs> fucking funny. Why is this pizza so funny? <laughs> every time I take a bite, I'm cracking the fuck up. Yeah. Oh. Why did what happened to what happened to Pizza Hut, bro? They were they were undisputed, in Pizza, my opinion. No, Pizza Hut was undisputed, in my opinion. They were the go to for my childhood. Yeah, Domino's nah. was like only Domino's, if Pizza Hut was not delivering really? something. Yeah, yes. I'm that, sorry to hear that. Domino's was like the BK to Pizza really? Hut's McDonald's. I, didn't, I never fucked the Pizza. Ask Hut. around. I thought agree. Pizza Hut was fucking compared to. Do, Do, I keep saying Domino's. Pizza compared Hut. to Domino's. I thought Pizza Hut was. Let's take about one two. Rap. Yeah, all Pizza Hut. Crap, dude. No, you don't have Matt, childhood memories of going to the buffet? <laughs> we did not fuck. The, I think I met him in the Pizza Hut buffet, but that was I, once I got my license and struck out on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Drove right past the Pizza Hut straight to Dynamos. <laughs> no, I, hit their, I hit their buffet before. But yeah, we were. We did not fuck with Pizza Hut, dude. Dude, big cup of fucking Pepsi Cola and the plastic cup. Dynamos and BK. That's a wild combo. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know. That's a unique family. I don't know what was going on. But yeah, it was Burger King. And Donovan's. Burger King's. <laughs> Burger King. Don't get me wrong. Burger King obviously rocks. Plain Boy Whopper, dude. Yeah. It's so good. Although I don't eat plain cheeseburgers. <laughs> I have a plain cheeseburger. The OCS, like, you know. original chicken sandwich. What do you have to say? Bang in. I'm re- reading about what happened to Pizza Hut, and it looks like they just got outclassed by the Domino's Pizza Tracker. I thought. I also thought it was Papa, Papa John's came in and fucked the whole game up. No, I'm saying Domino's was Because Papa just... John's was a Pizza Hut man. I believe. What? And he went out on his own. I could be way Good off on Good for him. This. I forgive him now, too. I could be way off on this. I'll do more research. I've been on Papa John's tip for a minute, dude. I remember Pause. seventh grade, half days. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on, yeah, Pops Papa John's since ass. like sixth or seventh grade. Papa John's was kind of for weirdos. I agree. Yeah. It was like weird. Or if you were like dating a girl who just ordered Papa John's, you'd be like, yo, what the <laughs> Fuck yeah. are you yeah, doing? How many other men have been in here? <laughs> She's got too <laughs> close of a rapport with a delivery driver. You're like, wait, how do you fucking know that guy? Yeah, if you'd Man, be, can you imagine going on a date with a girl now and she orders fucking Papa John's? Bro, like, <laughs> Where are you guys on the date like, that you're ordering pizza shit. for the first place? I don't know. At the, but back I've, at the crib, bro. Oh, damn, you Netflix think we are, bro? Dude, I've, <laughs> I've been to a place before and I saw PJs come through and I just shuddered, just kind of like, whoa, where am I? I'm in too deep right now. This is crazy. Just crushing the fucking... Yeah. Did she order extra garlic? I'm dip? pretty sure it was Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> I want to catch a woman yeah. in bulk. <laughs> I like it's the like Monstar. Sta- <laughs> <laughs> Just like a Staffordshire Terrier, bro. <laughs> I want to catch one of these mommies in bulk season. Yeah. Husky, <laughs> a husky mom? Yeah, yeah, really, man. Like gray lady. I don't she's want- <laughs> she's <laughs> fighting for the IDF right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd want my babe that dried out, dude. <laughs> yeah, she's running like a motherfucker. Yeah, she's scary looking. Uh, Damn, that's she what's hunks. up. Dude, Female that's hunks. crazy. How much? How like? Yo, how, oh, you imagine a hand? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> the fists are that like might be perspective. That might be perspective on the fucking shot. <laughs> no, yep, she's got big old ham hocks on her. <laughs> Italian, exact, yeah. but still getting most, like plastic surgery in your face is such a confusing. Yeah, hey, you still got to catch some deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you got a dick sucking face and uh, get your back blown out by. Bro. She was on the iron neck fucking machine too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what do you think? She sucks your penis. Do you think she oh. strong ass Dude, titties she, on she that She also one. probably hits that noise when she goes down like she's hitting reps. She's probably like, Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's man. Looking muscle back. mommies, dude, are so nice. Yeah, muscle mommies are. This is a wild. This is borderline trans. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. This is like a different level of trans. Well, I think they're taking tests, so. Yeah. yeah, they probably got. Yo, that ass. See looks if she's awful. got a little yeah. big penis. Don't they I'd, get a big I, penis clip when you take steroids? I don't know, but I'd rather. Yeah. I'd rather maybe put my face on Vince McMahon's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like two fucking turkeys or whatever. Stone glutes. Yeah, like turkey legs. 
fuck, dude. Whoa, what, what the, the hell? Before and afters. Look, this is what people should do at their funerals. <laughs> That's before and after. How jacked did you get? What was your fitness journey? It's, it's shares inspirational transformation. It's like, is that inspirational? Yeah, but isn't she like four in that other picture? Ted? Yeah, True. I don't know. yeah she, she's definitely young. I'm not even sure if that's real. Sure, that's pretty tight. She's the number one muscle. Mo she's the Ronnie Coleman of muscle mommies. Yeah, it looks yeah. like she got some ribs removed too. Yeah, yeah what? Yeah, so she can suck her own dick. <laughs> <laughs> she had the Marilyn Manson. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah, man. we're all thinking it. <laughs> Damn, dude, she's yeah. so jacked. Yeah, that is the world's most jacked. Imagine lady. arguing with her too. That would be like. <laughs> I don't even no, you hit hard yes, ma'ams, with this one. Like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. No, ma'am. Like, wait, that doesn't even make sense. She's like, you're fucking pissing me off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she just, like, she just grab nervous. you by the throat, pick you up slow, look at you in the eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, dude. Let me go. Let me go. That making me nervous. Let me go, Natalie. Let me go. Well, I'm glad we covered the muscle mommies and Vince McMahon. It's all one thing, dude. Yeah. You think Vince McMahon definitely was hitting ladies like, like not hitting, punching them, but like taking down ladies yeah. that looked like that muscular. Yeah, especially yeah. in the early nineties, mid late, like late nineties, early two thousands. He did everything. Yeah, that's kind of nice though. Definitely did everything. He's probably like <laughs> fucking boring live shows. Like, he shit on a lady. Yeah, he, he probably right. shit on a lady. Got pegged. Five some. Probably chem sex. You think he ever had sex under the ring during a match? That's not like ultimate. Throwing, I was no. trying to think ultimate freak ball shit. That feels like a good that move. Is, I actually yeah. would kind of love to do that. Maybe like I know, the, you're an exhibitionist. Yeah. That is my thing. Maybe True. back in the day. No, Nate, remember you're vanilla, dude. I'm not um, vanilla. I was you, never you vanilla. You took the test. You're no, vanilla. Andy was vanilla. That's oh, why. Okay, I, that's okay. why I almost died. Oh yeah. He, he, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Andy's vanilla. Yeah, Andy was vanilla. vanilla. There's a, we we the footage is gone, but I almost died because he told us. Uh, he, yeah. He, he, we were calling him vanilla. He was like, I got some freak things I like, but he was saying it like he was going to say something crazy dark. Yeah. And it just ended up being he likes his nipples twisted a little no, bit. He said, uh, no. and, 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 and the way he said it was so like shy. He was like, I just like my, I like my, I like my nipples twisted. A little bit. No, I no, laughed so, no, I laughed no, so no, hard. Like, Matt, no, I dude. laughed so hard. I actually passed out. <laughs> no. No. On camera. I was like, <laughs> "You're like a goat, bro. You faded why, all the time." Why did you delete the footage? It, it, said, it looked bad. It looked. Said, uh, it did look you're good. Always <laughs> <amazing>. <laughs> no. The man had the footage last, and then I think he was like, "No, this was." He, he was the final. He threw it into Mordor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He said, <laughs> it was just like a, uh, you're always uh, fainted. Dude, he didn't say you did grit, bro. He was Podcast like, casually. <laughs> he was like, all gave some, some gave all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking just fell out in your chair? Just, just, I did, like, my, by the end of it, like, my head was, like, here, and I was just, oh, no, yeah. dude. Andy said, he was like, I just like that. My, I like that. My nipples cranked. <laughs> cranked, is, cranked is different than twisted. Cranked. No, is, he said play with like, first. Like, That's what got me. He tried to clean it up with crank. He said play with, with it. it. Hearing your boy say, "I like my nipples." Play <laughs> with. <laughs> Yes. I, yeah, I was like laughing feminine. so hard. I, I think that's what happened. I think I ran out of oxygen. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I just he like, he shrimped up. It could happen to any to one of us at any time. What did what did Andy away. do? Oh man, Andy was like. Nate, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I came to being like, are you, them to be like, are you all right, dude? And then we just finished the podcast. Like, <laughs> we're in poor Holy health. Shit. We've each fainted around one another before. <laughs> yeah, you passed out in front of. You were on oh, mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a hard system. Nate system. was yeah. just on the wig ski. <laughs> no, yeah, Sean he faded because he saw a demon. <laughs> yeah, well, what'd you yeah. say, demon? He's, 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 it was the black <laughs> throw. Oh, he saw the yeah, throw. Yeah, it the was the like, oh yeah, that throw was nuts, dude. That was the. That was a fun night. Yeah, it was very. We memorable. all ate it was a nice so memory. many mushrooms at this bar, and then yeah, Spud just hit a hard. <laughs> we were just drinking bro. champagne too, huh? I think we were, we're doing mushrooms champagne. and drinking drinking champagne, drinking champagne eating we mushrooms. Drank all the brewskis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> started drinking champagne, and then Spud was hit like throwing up like. It looked like Play Doh, dude. It, it was, was crazy. Like he was, was going to pass bad. away. I was almost certain. He was choking on vomit. I don't know why I was so calm. That was weird. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> brought was, me and Spud back to life within like 30 minutes. Yeah. Show. Dude, I was, I remember at one point sitting on this little, like, the bench of the hotel room, and I had, I'd bought an oranges that day. 
and I was handing out oranges. It was making me laugh. I was giving people oranges. Because <laughs> I had read about Indian gurus that no, give oranges grapefruits, out. Fruits. Grapefruits. They were fruits. I was hitting people with those frescas, dude. Yeah. <laughs> those pamplemousses. <laughs> I thought it was so funny to get, because I had just been reading all tasty. about these guys. They were nice. I was hitting the bros with some fucking grapefruits, and then Spud was fully just out, throwing up, and I'm watching Gardini just as a early. young man just witness... What's in store for all of us? <laughs> and he confronted fucking death. It was just like, oh my god, just leaning against the wall and just kind of went. And he just fished. I was like, dude, are you good? And he was like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I, just, I don't know if you remember. I thought you were having a seizure, so I slapped you in the face. <laughs> I, I didn't feel. Woke it. your ass up. Yeah, I remember you were. I woke up. And you were there. That's all I remember. I had so many vivid memories flashing through my head. Yeah, I ran the bathroom spot. I ran the bathroom. I said, bro, you undress yourself. And get your goddamn ass in that bathtub <laughs> right now. <laughs> Gardini was convinced he was dead in that room. Like we went back to yeah, our room. I tried to put on dead. sleep sounds, like rain noise or whatever. And, yeah. thunder, and we were trying to just go to sleep. And Gardini just got up. I was like, I need a sick. He's dead in there. It just left. <laughs> I walked the highway in Timonium it didn't look until good. seven in the morning. It didn't look good. <laughs> and Nate just fell asleep immediately and started snoring so loud. <laughs> Nate was my only cool headed fucking yeah. person. I know. Me too. Yeah. I just remember trying to get like cold rags for everybody's face. Like you were, you were running shot, and I was, was like, <laughs> I, I was mean, a CNA. You were yeah, not, good. <laughs> not good for stereotypes. But I, they did have a Wawa hoagie dude. on him. And it did keep him level the whole time. You had that thing on you. Which you had that hoagie on him. He had a hoagie on him. <laughs> Think about the discipline, too. You wanted to munch that hoggy. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, 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 he munched the hoggy. But I'm saying he, he attended to everyone first. <laughs> yeah. He went battlefield medic, medic right away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got to, dude. I don't know where. I don't know why I wasn't. I would have freaked me out. If I was like you a Tuesday, chilling. I would have yeah, been like, oh, shit. You went into yeah, dad he, mode real quick. He was going, yeah, oh, just yeah. throwing up on. Yeah, choking on the throat. Yeah, I was just hollering. smacking his back real hard. Like I had no medical skills. He was just sleeping, too. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, he passed out that. like nothing happened. <laughs> and they're like hollering and dude. screaming. <laughs> and then he woke up. At, he woke up at like, I was up all night. I didn't fall asleep. I was having like pinwheel visuals. And then he, <laughs> Billy at one point woke up and I'm like, yo, Spud's tripping, dude. Like he's bugging. And he's like, all right. And he put on like his Santana playlist. So we just yeah. listened to like chill songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a nasty playlist. And then we all, I don't think me and Spud really slept. Billy, I don't slept somehow through that. Yeah. And we all went, to, you know, the breakfast chain first watch. Yeah. Oh uh, no, but I remember you guys went out to went get the first eggs. watch. Yeah, we all got breakfast after that. And I think Spud he worked in the bathroom right away. <laughs> But I, that was a tough drive home. I was driving yeah. home like no sleep. Was oh home. yeah, I remember that was we drove home together I was from that. Begging Nate to take me home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had already. Nate I think I had already left. Sleeping, bro. I think I had left too. No, or I was about to leave. I can't remember what it was. I think I came back for you. Did you? I think I came back for. I think I got in the car. You because you I, were. I went with Shane, and Shane was like, "I'm not going. I'm going to Mechanicsburg." And I was like, "Yeah." Fuck, you couldn't get Man, back to you Jersey. Take me to Jersey. And it was one of them drives where it added like I did. The, I put it in GPS. It added, it added like, like forty minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah something like that to the drive. And I just did. I was like, I already don't got this one in me. And now you're. Yeah. Oh. But I needed that though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. got Royal Farms. Yeah, that was I never thing. had that. He bore you on his back, dude, and lifted. He just lifted know, you out of the sure <laughs> Mate's the ultimate bro, dude. Yeah, 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 so I do so try absolutely. to be the ultimate Mate's bro. Mate's bro of the year. Yeah. We came here to award you bro of the year. Yeah. I was like, everything I hear is just like absolute. Absolute brother. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Related to the sports world, did you go ahead shoot? <laughs> did you hear the beef between Stephen A. Smith and that older dude who's claiming he never played basketball for college? No. Stephen A. Smith. After the Cat Williams thing happened, people started just like airing everybody out and all this stuff. And there was a guy who I heard went on and was like Stephen A. Smith. I think he was an old athlete. He was like Stephen A. Smith never played college basketball. And he was he pointed, beefing with Jason Whitlock. It could have been it, Whitlock. Was it, I think it was Whitlock. Whitlock's like a fat conservative. Yes, that's who it was. He's a black conservative. He you, is. You would like Whitlock. But then, but then he, I, yeah, I, I was actually kind of funny. I was kind of pumped on him. But then I think they crushed Whitlock because Whitlock's Whitlock like, just keep getting crushed. all this gay shit. On, but he was saying I'm getting like gay shit on my Instagram feed. And like, bro, that's because they're picking what you like. And he was like, oh. Damn. <laughs> but he. Um, that hurts. But there's a video of Stephen A. Smith shooting basketballs with James Harden. And he is pretty bad. So the whole the whole thing was like, did he make up being a walk on in college? I mean, there should be information you can easily look up, right? Yeah. That's what I would think. You would think. Huh. That's what I would think. But I like it's like conspiracy. 
I got. I'd have to find out the school and be like, "Yo, Freedom of Information Act." Already too much work. Yeah. Exactly. I just saw the videotape of him shooting basketball, and I was like, "Doesn't have it. It doesn't look good." <laughs> yeah, that is tough. But then it'd be so hard to lie about. It's so hard to lie about playing a college walk-on. sport. Full walk on too. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you heard any of that. Too. The sports world was a buzz. Sports world's a buzz with that and the uh, Aaron Rodgers stuff. He's Aaron back. Rogers. Yeah, he was back. Yeah, I was delighted. It came right back. So funny. Yeah, dude. I, I everyone was mad at that guy for Pat his, McAfee uh, would never let us down, dude. Well, they're they're mad at him for his speech. He was like, "Look, the average person doesn't give a shit about any of this stuff." Blah blah blah, and he he said something. Who like, McAfee? McAfee had a he had like a statement. He I made. watched his. I watched him do it, and it was pretty reasonable. He's like, "Look, this is a fucking." Sports show. I don't feel like being in between Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. Well, the That's thing it. they the thing they attacked him for. He was like, "It's MLK Day. I have a dream." But blah, oh blah, blah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, "Piece of shit." And it's like, bro, he's calling for harmony. They're trying to the live. Just trying to tear him down. They do want to tear him down. But then he got he got attacked by the right for getting rid of Aaron Rodgers. That's what he said. He goes, "I got canceled by everybody." <laughs> yeah. They're like, what does he even mean? He didn't get canceled. His show's still on TV. Yeah, Ooh. they say that a lot. They go, "No, you didn't." Yeah. You didn't get canceled. Yeah, we didn't yeah. fucking mm. completely defund your life and kick you. You guys the tried. Street. Yeah. You tried your best. But it, it's just, it's weird, though, when you get a dude like that calling, blatantly calling for a more unified state and being like, look, let's stop fighting each other. And like, fuck him. He's a piece of shit. It's like, that was regrettable. Max P's for real, the man. It's a beast, dude. Oh, you, damn. It was Nate, not Lemaire. We, he In Alabama, he came and hung out with us. It was sick. Yeah. He was wild, dude. We were like... He wasn't. I don't think he really drinks that much, but yeah, he smoked. And we were just sitting there hanging out, and we were like, "Let's go to this bar at like midnight." And he was like, we're, "We walked over, and he was like, fuck, I should go home.'" I was like, "Why?" He's like, "I gotta be up at like five. I was like, <laughs> "Go home, you fucking animal! What are you doing?" <laughs> Did Aaron Rodgers cure himself? He didn't take a snap after he fixed his, after his ankle got healed, right? No, okay. he has not. So no one but knows he if he's actually. He was out there fucking. Yeah, he was throwing Running, the ball around, yeah. but yeah, walking around and shit, which was pretty big. Was it a completely broken ankle? Uh, it was a Achilles. I think he That's tore his like Achilles. That's like a fucking six month recovery yeah, yeah. minimum, right? Yeah, unless you get stem cells. Now we're and talking. go nuts. Yeah, yeah, baby. I need to make a big comeback. You do. I need to come back. Silence the haters. Oh, you, you need him to make it. I like thought you said neck. you need to make I was like, what happened? I need to make a big comeback too. But no, he, I need him to make a monster comeback and just slam dunk on all the haters. It'd be awesome. It'd be Did you so play football, fun. Matt? Huh? Did you play football? Yeah, just in grade school, though. A little bit of freshman ball. Same, yeah. A little bit of freshman ball. Little Couldn't hack it after ball. freshman year. The what? I could not. I wasn't go big enough, year. man. I, I, I blame it on my coaches. They, they kind of like set me up to be a lineman, but genetically, I wasn't that big. So they should have been running me a fullback. You've been a nice fullback. I you know. You don't seem afraid to hit. No, I I, I like to run, I, you know, but no, I blame it on my grade school. My grade school coaches pretty much ruined my life. Those fucking losers. <laughs> they should have had me in a skilled position. But Yeah, they do that. Although I, I do, I was a little nervous, though. Like, when if I had the ball, I'd be kind of like, Ugh. They do pick, they very young, they just go, you suck, O-line. Yeah. There's, like, big guys like me that's obviously, obviously I'm going to play O-line, but they always just grab – they grab it. Whoever, whoever the shittiest kids on the team are, you're, you're on that line. I drank the Kool Aid though because I was like, dude, you guys are the unsung heroes, and I was like, yeah, I fucking that does. love that. Does that. Work, I dude. love that. You it guys are protecting the quarterback. You guys, I'm just like, yeah, dude, I'll never let anyone get the fucking quarterback. Nobody will fucking touch him ever. Yeah, dude, I was He's pretty mine. pumped on that. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty. Uh, that does freak me out though, dude. To be like, you can't look at the guy and be like, yeah, we should all start stop fighting each other over these things. People truly have bigger problems than fucking. Aaron Rodgers on a sports show. Nobody really gives a fuck. Also, like, why should why should the like a Hall of Fame quarterback not be allowed on a sports show? That's what I'm saying. Michael Vick's doing fucking TV. Yeah, he did. I love his Michael time. Vick. I God love Michael him. Vick, but what he did was pretty wild compared to a guy just being like, I don't know if I trust the Vax. Yeah. <laughs> well, they blame Rodgers saying that he said he had it. Like he said he was Vax. It's like, yeah, everybody did, dude. Yeah. <laughs> everybody well, those, lied about any it. Any of those Michael Vick's dogs vaccinated by any chance? That's a good question. I'm sure a lot of them were. Then how they, how they really die. <laughs> you ever think about that? <laughs> I'm going to start going to dog now. fights and seeing how many of the dogs are <laughs> dropping suddenly. <laughs> during the dog that could be fight. some sudden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that dog got his face chewed off by COVID. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't have dudes living together for too long. It becomes wild. I told you I walked in on the bros, and there's I was in a, a person's house, and it was him and his friend, and they were like 65 years old, but they were the bros. Hetero, hetero bros. It was future. That was you. Was that was Stuff Island's loopers, dude? It was you walked crazy, in on Stuff dude, Island, dude. dude. Like, it you was don't fucking clean the house. It, Fuck you, dude. 65. It was a guy came in. He rode. He rode a mountain bike. He worked in like this. It was like a kind of like a deli, and uh, he came. It was like a nice deli, and he came one of like the fancy ones. Yeah. And he, he comes in, puts his bike down. He was like, bro, I saw the hottest fucking chick today. And I'm like, dude, you guys are so old. The <laughs> that, that, that holds up. Just bro. horn dogging on that pussy. It, it was nice to be like, bro, she was killing Every me. Every one of our dads wishes they had that. They True. could come home and say that to somebody. Put the bike down and just be, just like, be like, yo. Like, bro, and he has a log of cheese. It's springtime like, in yo, Philly. You know what time? True. There's yoga pants. That is the back. one thing about the wintertime when the babes reemerge from their fat cocoons. <laughs> Ooh, with the drip severe. Dude, I remember uh, the beans. Working with Spud and we would just uh, drive we would just drive through the city in springtime and the babes reemerge. Spud, Spud and Billy driving too. Cause you're always we're always on the phone with them. Yeah, you can yeah. hear them while they're driving, just like mm-hmm. <laughs> go, whoa. Always on Kelly uh, Kelly Drive, dude. Taking yeah. Kelly Drive intentionally to see the yoga the yoga pants jogging. Yoga pants. Now there's yoga shorts. Trips of, yeah. Yoga shorts now, dude. Yeah. What the fuck are they trying to do? To they're me? literally just showing their pussies. Dude. And I'm your- I'm here for it. I'll look. My body's designed to see it. if my if I if it's even vaguely in my field of vision, it's like I I, I stare directly at people's pussies. You have to, but that's the thing. You have to just while I'm walking down the street. Just. Yeah, your nervous <laughs> system's t- like five billion you know, you years old. You can see it. You can see the whole thing. I know. Yeah, it's it's been my favorite thing since I first heard of a camel toe. I was in grade school, and I, there was there was actually a website. I think it was cameltoe.org. dot mm. org. Still haven't it's recovered. an organization. Huh? It was an organization. organization. It was an organization. It was a non-profit. <laughs> it was, dude. And it was just camel toes, and I would sit there in grade school and just be like, next, 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 and just go through them. Like, this is, yeah. I could still put on, I could put on probably a 45-minute camel toe session now. Easy. 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 Ooh. And girls are, like, embarrassed by it. It's so weird. They're like, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. It's like, that's They're the- not embarrassed anymore. I, they're not. They wear pants so tight it spreads their fucking lips. Dude. Well, now they have they insane. have the also the yoga pants that have like a built in butt crack in the front that splits the pussy. They have that in the front now. Yeah, dude. I've seen the yoga pants with a built in butt crack, crack. Yeah, and you just go like, dude, what the fuck? I'm on an airplane. It's right in my yeah. face. I told my I was next to Brittany. I was like, I'm trying to run a fucking family here. This lady's ass in my this lady's perfect face. Just, fucking thick ass. I was like, right just for the us. record, this lady's ass is right in my fucking face. I also I'm though, being cool I, about I do it. a thing though, especially on airplanes, where I attribute my ass to women. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, my ass is a mess right now from all this travel. You project your ass. On I'm hers? like, her ass must be <laughs> disgusting in those shorts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I did want to stick my face in her ass, True. I bet it would be an unpleasant experience. That's a good. I gen- I do that I do that not even like per- yeah. I'm like kind of sometimes disgusted by the fur flying fat, ass. nice asses on a plane where I'm like ew she probably has a hard boner because she's flying yeah she's probably <laughs> got a boner for the last four hours that she can't get rid of she's probably got the hardest boner of her life <laughs> <laughs> I've never once thought I've always assumed that women have immaculate they might they definitely don't have man's ass. They but they get, probably they might get flying ass because no, you stand. I, I, they're probably not like me, where if they're in line, they're anxiously sweating the entire time. Yeah, like my if the the security line, <laughs> the armpit sweat, the ass sweat the whole time. The second I sit on a plane, my ass is drenched and I'm rock hard, and then I start <laughs> crying and I start crying to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I contemplate death for about five minutes And then I have a boner And I start crying Watching whatever I put on Your ass just continues As, as your ass, ass is, gently weeps, dude My ass gently it's, It feels like I shit my pants <laughs> feel like You shift over And you're like I do get violently horny on airplanes You know I've had I've had to hit the escape hatch A couple times I can't believe you hit the escape pod Oh my god <laughs> I've, done the it. Pod. I've done it, dude I've done it a couple times I've been like, bro, I can't carry this burden. And I just go I'm right jealous to the bed. It's maybe a minute, dude. I'm jealous of that. It's like when Spike Lee gets out of jail and he got game. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spike Lee. <laughs> or whatever the fuck you guys name is. It'd be awesome if it was Spike Lee. Who movie. was who played that? That was Denzel. That, that was Denzel? Yeah. 
Damn, I knew I had Denzel. Is it Jesus Shuttlesworth. Yeah, Jesus Shuttlesworth's father. Uh, yeah, I, it was a Spike Lee joint. It was a Spike Lee joint. It was Cornell but West. Spike Lee it was when Cornell Living legend pool player. No. He Thoughts said no? He said no. Why did he say no? There we go. Maybe we're not wit Riz. <laughs> Bro, you got to listen. We're not an average Ohio resident. He's got to speak like this, dude. <laughs> I'm the best bodybuilder in the world. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, was that was a different one. Matt, what was that? What's up with your YouTube, bro? <laughs> that was just the same thing. That's the same off video. Porn. All all you all Mom's Will Smith. You're, You're off porn, huh? The highest uh, manifestation is that real self-actualization for with right, that she could right. sign and so forth. You think My bad. a lot of people are... Is that really the, you know, the highest I rewind it. I rewind it. Uh, manifestation? Is that real self-actualization for young women nowadays that's the question they ask and you're totally right that look ultimately the market will choose there's no question about it the market will choose the market is brutal you know you know it's a great thing about it's always the, right it's always right you know you can you can say well let me tell you i'm the best bodybuilder in the See, world told you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's all i listen to on yeah, it's either I, that I watch or the like, dishes and watch those guys talk and i'm like dude that's so sick just like, bro, the yeah, markets. it's either that or dudes talking to a panel of like seven only fans girl, like, is 20 too high of a body count? And do you think you could find yeah. a man like that? Dude, <laughs> dude just fucking. Oh, dude, exactly. YouTube's <laughs> forsaken me. YouTube is totally forsaken Let's me. Get into it. I had nothing left on YouTube. Really? Besides PBD, obviously, obviously modern wisdom with that dude. Dude, ever since the Hunter Biden shit went down and they fucking nuked Pornhub, remember when he had his like fucking Droid Hunter 88 account on Pornhub? The what? Everybody forgot about that, Bill. Hunter Biden. RH Beast. Everybody R- forgets everything, dude. Hunter Biden they had a Pornhub account. Yeah. I think it was RH, RH East 32 or something like that. And as an admitted amateur fan, it got, they nuked everything on Pornhub and then oh, it was to only- get rid of. But they're like, oh no, we're stopping sex trafficking. Like, Dude, obviously not. Like you guys are fucking Pornhub. There's definitely yeah. fucking sex slaves on that. But now it's like you have to verify and all this shit. But R H East got fucking kicked off. He was banging chicks. His Pornhub search history is some of the nicest. It's like crackhead hooker family, gives blowjob. Family stuff. Yeah. Stack crackhead sister. gives blowjob. Yeah. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Been there. It's fucking tight. It's a nice one. It's it's a little jarring. I, yeah, I can yeah. see it, but it's like hood clips. Yeah, it's it's like a deeper level of hook. Yeah, it's a deeper level of hook clips. That is the pit. It's car blow jobs. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. I'm not going to talk about another man's porn search, dude. That's <laughs> they got all that happened. free the ball. True. Yeah. Yeah. free the ball. It's, yeah, it's I mean, I'm sure his was jarring, but also, dude, you'd be surprised, man. We got into someone's porn search in college, <laughs> and it was and this was a, Doctor Strange love. You should stop talking about this now. Yeah, <laughs> it was, bro. It was like we were all like we just like laughed it off. We were. I was like. Whoa, bro. <laughs> Clear Whoa. that. <laughs> Clear that. I'm talking about using electricity. My first, fucking, <laughs> my first search was, I'll never tell you guys. It was so I'll funny. never tell you. It was so Come funny. On, Take it to the I can't tell you what my first search was. It was what hilarious. Was it you talking about the very no, first one when you were hilarious. younger? No, just now. Oh, oh Jesus. It was just out of curiosity. My most recent search. I, I can't tell you what it was. Just out of curiosity. It is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious that that's what I was searching. Who? <laughs> Good lord! Yeah, no, it's just not. It's not that that's bad. That's not you, dude. That's you. Were, not, you're in another state. True. You're in another state. No, it's not that bad. It's, it's just, just funny. Situation. It's funny that that's what this. All right, I'm, uh, <laughs> just out of curiosity. I'm just doing the math on uh, how bad this is. I'm gonna get made fun of for this. <laughs> it wasn't. It's just funny. Get on the jackalope. This is the jackal. I'll get on. See, you can always believe it. I, always I, I do believed. it. Yeah, it was the jackal. The last word I searched on, <laughs> the last word I searched on Pornhub was party. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what do you want? Bro? I wanted to see some yeah. girls fucking yeah, at dude. a party. Yeah, dude. 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 Dancing bear stuff. I'm with you, bro. bro. I searched the word party. <laughs> Party, party, party. That's all oh, weird. man. Wait, that's dude, so that's weird. weird. Party people, dude. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. That's, dude, I fell in that hole before. The bike, the college parties and shit. That's a. Man. This night, first thing that came up, girl reacts, girls watching porn. That was, you put me on that. That fucked me up for a while. What's that? You see it, man? Girls, girls getting caught porn. watching porn. Oh, yeah. Matt, yeah. look at her reacting, just on a computer watching. That's, dude, that's You're excited ooh, that she's, she's really excited. Going for it. I feel you. She's watching. It's the fact that yeah. she's watching porn. I'm like, Jesus. There's Christ. a huge chance, like, when, like, me and Spade were talking about dreaming. 
And if you get on your phone right away after you wake up, it fucking wipes you. Like, there's some, like, waves that come out of your phone, like, fuck with, like, your recall or whatever. Yep. There's no way, especially, like, blue light gets little girls into puberty earlier. If it's wiping your memory and fucking with your hormones and you're erected jacking off the fucking porn, it's probably so bad for your shit. Yeah, it's the, MI, it's well, the MIB thing. Yeah. Not to go back to Will Smith, but. For sure. Yeah, well, Tommy could be, it's, you know, just as much as uh, Tommy. What's his name? Tommy Davis. Yeah, or, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. Well, the the reason phones wipe your memory is because it's it's putting you into a short term problem solving oriented mode of being, and it like it stops you from being able to do like long term <laughs> thinking. It fries your long term memory because it puts you. You're, you have to you, in order to use your phone, you have to solve like little problems. You have to be like, okay, I have to click that. I have to look at this and scroll, and that like literally is short term attention. Can I? I know you're on something, but can can you guys do me a favor and tell me the last time when you searched? I told you party. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I try to it. think. Just look at your phone. Go to porn. I don't. I dude. I'm institutionalized. I still jerk off in my own bathroom with the door locked on the phone. You don't search on your phone on porn. Private, app? always, dude. It's but that it, was on the table anytime I was. When on you're the when you're in private, it doesn't save your searches like Fuck that. No. On in incognito app? mode, no. I don't think it yeah, does. Yeah, I don't like. I've never. Spud, please join me, brother. Party, dude. I searched party, party and jacked off to it. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. I no, mean, just I look at it. I don't search YouTube. I don't search Pornhub. I just go on. I'm just trying to think of the last thing I got into. You've never searched. A word I don't search. It. I just go on and scroll. Yeah, but I mean, I if you ever I've have, been clean be for there. a while. Like, oh, okay. And then I also, if I use, I had that Reddit, the bad Reddit. What's uh, that? Reddit? Yeah, and I get we get crushes on porn stars, so it's like you would get crushes on. Yeah, them. I get crushes on. You, them. Would you want to like? Would you want to like mail them things straight? No, no, I'm not like crazy. <laughs> 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 comments that, think, that's a different the last i got big i got big into the public vibrating panties just look at it that cross, i'll try to see if i can find it this doesn't count as search oh it's yeah dude I'm, again i'm not puritanical about it but let me see uh <laughs> i think i think when you crazy. see the search it's gonna be jarring i would have never guessed party i don't think i'm telling you i don't think it saves when you're in which i'm gonna call it mode oh my god <sighs> Taking me back into the thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't put them back in there. It's in nope. problem solving. That's, that's, that's tra- this trending. is problem. This is problem solving right now. No, it doesn't save mine. It doesn't have anything up there. I swear to God, nope. nothing. It's just trending's <laughs> mutual masturbation. I thought that was mine. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think when you're in, uh, you know what, it doesn't save it. Thank fucking God. <laughs> I need to go on private mode more. I, I'm oh yeah, private mode, bro. I just don't. Who cares? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you're chilling in this big house by yourself. Like, growing up, like, internet options had to be destroyed always. Yes. You know? No, it's I, like Inspector I Gadget's up, notes. Bro. I grew up whacking off on my family's computer. Yeah, he had, he had the jerk yeah, off police I'm as saying well. it's muscle memory at this point. And like, I had a, my it. sisters were old. Just like, like your oldest brothers would, like, you know what I mean? They knew. They were looking well, for Well, if it. I had to choose who to get caught by. <laughs> <laughs> sisters? It's very popular genre. <laughs> I think every woman deep down knows there's nothing. Up, thi- there's nothing upstairs. I could get with that theory that they just collect ideas from boyfriends and they're just like, Whoosh, that's all they do. And then they're like, oh, wait, what is this one now? Like, yeah. Okay, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point. It was great. I was watching. I just a fair point. I just watched Manchester by the Sea again. Holds up. Still yeah, that's sad. A great, as that's fuck. a great movie. Uh, but it's funny. The crackhead. The the one of the wives. Mm-hmm. The one. All right. Casey Affleck's brother who dies, mm-hmm. his babe, when they they show flashbacks the whole movie, she's like passed out on the couch with her pussy out in front of yeah. the kids. She's just a mess. Yeah. And then in Hot the future, mess. in the future, she just marries a Christian Ferris Bueller. <laughs> and just he's like, I'm a Christian now. It's like and I was watching, I was like, damn, this is literally what every woman does. She was dating a fisherman from Boston. I was like, Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. And she dated Ferris Bueller and was like, Oh, we should pray. That's so fucking funny. That's been nice watching the women transform into the the last couple of years, like Blue Lives Matter, gun chicks. Yeah, it's coming. That's a whole it suits them better, man. No, it's already there. That, that's they're there. Yeah, they're like full like that became a personality for women. They were underground for a while. Yeah, I knew a couple of Blue Lives Matter babes. Oh geez, oh geez, like years ago. Yeah. But yeah, now they found the safe havens on Instagrams. Yeah, it's good to be like I'm a country girl. Yep. I got traditional values. Can your man pitch a tent in the woods, start a campfire? <laughs> I've been watching this girl that does all these songs. That's all she does. Talk about like, songs about how like you can keep your city boys, 
Does it drive a truck through the mud? It sounds like I'm doing a southern accent. She's singing the whole time. Really? Yeah, it's it's, it's crap. Yeah, she's like, you can go ahead and suck off your well-groomed boyfriend. I'm going to suck this guy's sweaty dick in a bog. Does he chew tobacco? <laughs> can I suck his dick in a bog? <laughs> you know. Oh, watch this lady get it. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, that's pretty fun. Just a lady, <laughs> just a lady and a bird took her eye out. That was a huge bird. She was facetiming and a bird took her eye out. <laughs> that was a bird of prey. That was fully. Oh yes. This is just already a thing. Good rhyme pattern. She said she's never seen someone hit a golf ball the way he does, and he looks like a Ken doll. I said, girl, your boyfriend sounds cool and all. But can he beat a hook? Can he change a tire? Can he go in the woods and build a campfire? Can he shoot a gun? Can he take you mud in? Dating a country boy, girl, it's really something. You gotta believe me. There's so much. <laughs> Why do they got to objectify us as city boys and country boys? I don't know. We just be We're constantly we being objectified, dude. Yeah, dude. That's a you can get into success objects, telling women I am not your success object. Ooh, because they do. I like that. I dude, it's a sick dude. There's yes, these. Uh, thank you, Matthew. I'll be screaming that. Someday. I am not your success object. I will be screaming that. Someday. They objectify men. They objectify men. They yeah. complain about being objectified, dude. It's like I am not your su success. It object. is funny to be like we're objectified as a woman. It's like yeah, dude. Yeah, man. That's that's what we do. We're humans. We objectify literally everything we see. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> it's not even like I conscious. objectify my fucking mom. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to be a good mommy, and I can be proud of her. True. You know what I mean? True that. I don't want a bad mommy. Yeah, but it's also like, like, I'm, does a dog objectify a dog when it fucks it? It looks at it and goes, "Yeah, fuck yeah." Yeah, I want to place my seed in there. I want to. Fuck that fine looking breed. I'm feeling so fucking hernia. That, that dog's coat is looking perfect. Yeah. I need that coat. It's Little like Pitbull Poodle mix. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh I mean, dude, it's just so much harder being a guy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dude, think we go to war, you and me. We gotta work all the time, dude, you and me. We gotta die in factories. <laughs> we definitely have to die in fact if you, if one of us dies in a factory, <laughs> something went wrong. <laughs> I could just be on a tour. We don't even die in factories anymore. That's just the Chinese boys. It is. They are die. They are dropping like flies in factories. Uh, yeah. On the internet. Oh, you they see it. You actually see it. Machines every day. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. In the most horrific ways. Damn. On like the Happy Meal toy machine. Dude, they yes. The thing that's pressing the Happy Meal Yoda baby Yoda doll. Oh, uh, imagine losing they, like, your reach in fucking to, arm. Yeah. To a thing that a toddler just looks at. But, I mean, I, he's down, dying. He's down bad. He was filming himself in the hospital. Dude, that's going to be the new thing. Your death is going to be, generation. everyone's death is going to be filmed. Yeah. Then you get likes on your death and you go, fuck. Oh, that was Especially suck, if your dad dude. died. Like, it's like no one coming to your funeral. True. It's like dad's gone, post a picture on his Instagram. It's like 17 likes and like he was great. And yeah. Four comments, dry as fuck. Hey guys, all my organs are <laughs> bleeding. I don't know how long. I, yeah. Hey guys. That's going to be my fucking are bleeding right into my asshole. I think about that the yellow man from Anacapulco. Dude. I think about that a lot. Oh yeah, the guy who morphed yeah. got John, the guy who morphed into Homer and died on camera. A documentary yeah. camera was there. Yeah, that so was right. a big camera was filming him. He was just, <laughs> just. She literally said, "Just go. You're an asshole, but just go now. We'll take care of this." Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> oh, my bad. See ya. Fucking anarch. That is literally the death of an anarchist. Yeah. True. <laughs> Just yellow from John. I did whatever I want. Like, now you have a fucking crippling yeah. disease and you're dying. Yeah. What? Did, what? Did, he got hepatitis. He got John. He got John. John. His, liver his liver shut down. Shut off, so he turned yellow in his eyes. Yeah. There is he no rules. Yellow. You can do whatever. Was he drinking like dirty water down there? No, he was drinking <laughs> what fucking are the rules. Handles of vodka and rum every oh, day. God, yeah. Every time they showed him, he was getting shit faced. Off the bitty with coins? a yeah, <laughs> they're making a comeback. We'll be able to drink handles again. Spades dude. fucking yes, rich right now. I was what are your bits up? Handles when they were up. I don't know. I haven't checked the bits. Maybe like seven hundred bucks. The, the bitcoins are not. Damn, they're, they're at seven hundred. No, 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 no like his, my his stash. My oh. stash is yeah. 
I think I have. Don't even. I have invested crypto like crypto wild card key. <laughs> I have like eighty bucks in those various coins left. Yeah, yeah, they go know. up. I had, I had a lot. I had a lot. They dipped a lot. I got crushed. (laughs) I bought at the peak. I bought everything at the peak. It's coming back. That's why I don't do any of that stock market shit. No matter what I get, it's just going to crash. I knew I was, I knew I was fucked when it was a Christmas party. And my uncles were talking about Ethereum. Oh, fuck. And I was like, oh, they know about it. (laughs) Fuck, dude. (laughs) That's a good indicator. Yeah, all the uncles were like, oh, we're getting Ethereum. We're getting I was Ethereum. like, oh, shit. I'm fucked. So I'm going to lose $17,000. Dude, I told you, I bought Bitcoin. I, I didn't buy a uh, Bitcoin. I bought like a fraction of Bitcoin when it was, I swear to God, maybe like $7,000. Really? I, it was just 100 bucks of it. And then I, it went up a little bit. And I was like, sweet. And then I just sold it all off and got rid of my Robinhood account. <laughs> and then it jumped up to $64,000. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you'd have tried to do it again, I would have lost my shirt. Yo. Did you fucking down. hear about that shit with Pizzagate? <laughs> what? The shit you sent me? Yeah. What? The fucking gate's back? Nuts, bro. What is it? Yes. Fucking tell him, bro. In no. Podesta? Yeah. Podesta's boy? Podesta's boy fucking... What was he? He just got a rat. The guy who was like debunked Pizzagate? Wasn't Podesta supposed to be the guy... Was he? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got something on that, on that front. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. But wait, there's a new one now? Damn, I cannot believe you right now. Why? This is my truth. Don't. I thought this was a safe platform. This is obviously a safe platform. Okay. Fucking Podesta's boy who debunked Pizzagate just got fucking charged. What was it for? Child rape? No. Or p- child porn? Dude. That's or, fu- or both. What? I mean, uh, both? I said it to you. I Spade can't said, Look at the text oh, He ran us. the defense, and then he- He ran- He debunked maybe it. Maybe he looked into it after he like he was like, we're not doing that. And he was like, what the hell are they yeah, talking Yeah, why is the penalty so great for this? And he checked it out. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is the why penalty is so great? Someone's Something innocence. must be incredible about it. I better this. take this stuff off the market. It sometimes if you screenshot and send it to me, it does go in no, your text. No, yeah. So his boy got caught with the CP. Yeah, it's fucked. A lot of there's a lot of Q stuff that's like kind of coming back right now, and I don't like how you always tell people that I'm a big QAnon guy. It makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Anytime I introduce him to people, I'm like, "This billion yeah, yeah, yeah. They're obsessed. With, they're QAnon guys. They're legit Q guys. Uh, where is it? That's awesome. I'm proud that you guys are legit Q guys. Dude, I like actually. Is, yeah, I'm pumped. Is making a comeback. We've had too. problems here. How, wait, <laughs> there's no, there's no tell, news tell, 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 tell. They didn't put in the news. Did he, dude, will you please verify. I'm trying to. Please, oh, Gardini, Josh would have had this up, up bro. Josh would have had. Fun. Yeah, for real, dude. You've changed <laughs> a lot since you've though. been to Texas. God dog. <laughs> You yeah. think it's changed when we came to Texas? Change a lot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's Do crazy. you feel like you've changed? Because I've noticed a little. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not crazy, Sean. But John Podesta's like friend it? who debunked Pizzagate arrested for raping toddlers. Whoa. I guess it's a conspiracy theory. From yeah. what website? Hold on. Sure. This is going to be like. He wants a source. This is a, a source. source. Yeah. So gay. The people's voice. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fact-checked. It's I believe it. Two fact checks. Damn. Close friends of John Podesta. Bra- Clogged. We've got a whole clog. <laughs> Damn, yeah. dude. Yeah, I wonder how many of the trans people are just like, dude, I was so horny. Uh, dude, and they're honestly, just like, dude, f- I'll be, I'm going to level with you. I, was I just horny. felt like it, dude. This is crazy. Why horny. wouldn't I not do this? That's Peterson makes that claim on a couple podcasts. You guys what? are just fucking horny. <laughs> it's a sex thing. Don't tell me it isn't. You're horny. You want tits? You want to feel heaven? You want to come on your own tits? We get it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not what we he all says. get it. We all get it. We Everybody feel, wants to come on their own tits. You want to feel a hot load on their tits? Who doesn't? Come on. <laughs> you got to read Exodus. You don't come on your tits. <laughs> you read the Bible. Read the bloody Bible. Don't come on your. We all want to come on our tits. Come on your tits. This is big fat D spilling to the side. You fucking <laughs> come on them and. Someone brings you a towel and you wipe them off and you complain. Oh, who doesn't want to do that? Of course, bloody, it'd be great. I feel my own <laughs> come drip down my knockers, bloody Christ! My, knockers. <laughs> my giant hooters. <laughs> we all bloody want giant fucking hooters. <laughs> Just a massive rope. We get it. <laughs> you're perverts. Don't tell me you're not. Yeah, he yeah. he came hard on one podcast where it was like they're perverts. They want to. They just want to get it. They get off on it. I know they get off on it. They dress like a <laughs> girl. Know it, I know horny. it. <laughs> Like, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. It's 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 you get horny from that. Damn, I get it. Grandpa having. 
<laughs> sorry, Emma, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, Did the smell hit you already? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go grab you. You got the full experience. That was there's, IMAX. You IMAX that part, dude. <laughs> there's blood in my hand. There's blood on my hands. The blast is too bad. You would be powerful. I was Oppenheimer, dude. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> that was fucking. That was Fat Man. That was. That was a, I'm on an empty stomach, pretty much. Was yeah, my acai bowl. I learned they. The lady says they add sugar in it, but I think she's wrong. So I didn't get my acai bowl. I said I'm, I'm staying away from refined sugar. So I do. I'm doing empty belly God farts. Damn, dude. Matt. Yeah, what the hell? I just got to live a little. You no, I'm talking the about the fart. I'm not talking about you. I don't give a oh, fuck blast. about you eating sugar. <laughs> I'm talking about the radius. Dude. <laughs> it doesn't smell. <laughs> it does smell. smell. You got a broken nose. Dude. I, I like to apologize. I would, like to apologize. I'd like to apologize for my actions. <laughs> Did he <you> pause? <laughs> <laughs> apologies. Oh, you're making us mask up. True. You better mask up, dude. Oh, Keep that up. You got to... Wait till it's only boys in here. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what have you done? You uh, you have become death, dude. You have absolutely become death. I'm on empty stomach farts, dude. I have no friends, dude. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find this. I'm fucking... a loser. That's what my, that one priest in my school said. If someone farted on empty stomach, they went, <laughs> boy, he just farted loud. The priest was like, Boys, that's what happens. You don't eat your breakfast. You fart really loud. And guess what? He doesn't have any friends. <laughs> he's farting and nobody likes him. <laughs> Billy McMillan's farting. I don't farting. know if he knows this. It gets you a lot of friends, dude. Yeah, Billy Kid McMillan. Kid who farts in school? Dude. That's a legend. Billy McMillan is the fucking man, dude. Yeah. I think he was the one who wrote 666 on the chalkboard. Bro, the class. Or no, no, I think someone else did. I think actually it was either me or my cousin, but he took the heat. <laughs> My bad. Now I think about it. I think I was running notes for his class and somebody did. I forget who did it. I want to yeah. steal Valor. It was either me, Pat, or Billy McMillan, dude. It's a triumvirate. But, dude, this dude was so fucking funny. Fart, in school farts, dude. Dusty DeFrank used to fucking. Dude. My boy Dusty used to. He would come up to you during <laughs> class. He would stand in the middle of class and go, I have to pass gas. Who should I pass it to? Oh. And I, you got to pick the victim. And he would put his ass on their desk and fart. Oh. <laughs> dude. I've been crushing my rings every day. What are your rings? My Apple Watch rings. What are they? They count how many calories you burn from like doing exercise. Dude, this oh, thing, nice. it's so fun. Yeah. I have a mission every day to fucking close these rings, and I've been taking it very seriously. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. What I do you do? To, I have to burn 750 calories. Uh, Peloton, nice. go for long walks, and I, I today I ran. I sprinted today. You sprinted. sprinted. How did it feel? Awesome, dude. Yeah. Sprinting's awesome, but I, I can't jog. I start to feel like... Just weird. If I just walk and then bust out an all-out sprint, walk, bust out, it's so much better. Nice. I did two miles like Where'd that. Where'd you do that? I have little trails here. I have a little, they call them greenways here. It's like a little trail, a little patch of grass with like a gravel it's trail. Nice. In no time, you're going to be one of the shirtless hunks down in Austin. Uh, I'll keep There's the shirt so on. many shirtless hunks. Uh, my belly pimples are, uh, Texas is clearing up my belly pimples. That's great know, news. What the hell it is? I don't have any belly, well, they're, they're clearing up, dude. Let me see. Your belly pimples are clearing oh, up. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's fine. How can, long I, have you had those? For like, I think it was a dark chocolate. Fuck a fucking year, dude. Really? I've been plagued by belly pimples for a year. Supposed to go to the, uh, the dermatologist today. Canceled it, obviously. I was like, yeah, never. Dude, I, I was like, can I go again? They're like, uh, yeah, how about, how's December? I'm like, huh? I'm like, can yeah. I just, can I just go like tomorrow? Or like, I was like, I get it. I can't go right away. But like, Jesus Christ, man. And I was like, can I go on a day that's not like Tuesday or Wednesday at one o'clock? And they're like, yeah, for that, it'd probably be about March. I'm like, dude, just cancel my shit. Yeah. And it just cleared up on his own. I think it was. Because they, dermatologists claim that there's no link between acne and what you eat. I think it's complete fucking bullshit. Is that true? They, dude, that can't be right. I do. I, I think you break out if you eat certain fucking. They, food. they have come up with. I I'll tell I've you what, seen alcohol things. causes acne. Yeah, I could see. Yeah. So, do, so do drugs. Like if you're, yeah, if you're, yeah, yeah. If like you're doing any other kind of drugs, dude, I'm telling you, I've seen it that they said they are. Okay, make acne worse. I've right. read things where they said affect hormones that could make acne worse i've read things before they're they're like there's not a definitive yeah it looks link. like it's not very definitive but and i've had dermatologists be like no 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 it's just bacteria on your skin i'm like dude i'm telling you this is something i'm eating yeah and i think it was all that dark chocolate i was eating i, I broke i think it fucked with my goddamn hormones yeah, you're a matcha and coffee man yeah exactly yeah and i'm just ripping clear you up. yeah i swear to god i think it did but it was i was like it's either that it was either dark chocolate dairy 
I mean, obviously, gluten cross contamination bedevils me everywhere I go. Obviously, and then fucking uh, <laughs> m- d- yeah, it was it was just that. Oh, beef. I was wondering if maybe beef's causing it. So I started cutting things out, and dude, it's the fucking. I cut the dark chocolate. It was so hard to cut the dark chocolate. So I cut that you out. Are, you are a dark chocolate man. I love it. It was perfect for me because I could yeah. just I could titrate little fucking squares of that, and it would just give me a little boost of caffeine throughout yeah. the day. Coffee's a commitment. Coffee, I'm going. I'm not sleeping, but lately this sun out here, Texas way. I swear to God, the sun helps me metabolize stuff differently. Like I can, my, my body processes caffeine quicker. It's really weird. Yeah. Pretty cool. Hangovers. I am, I am happier on the caffeine. Yeah. I like that. Oh, it's nice. I've, I was hoping you would uh, get your tolerance up. Yeah. I, 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 I know it. you struggled with caffeine. I did, dude. I was yeah. having like heart palpitations and shit, or I would just be up for like yeah, yeah, forever. Yeah. yeah. But I also, I don't, I usually don't crush the whole thing. I leave a little something. Yeah. Leave a little something. That way I'm kind of good. Is that that Argentinian? No, that's mate. Never mind. A yerba mate, I think. Yeah. Right? Is that yerba mate? Is it? Matcha is the green. It's the green tea. Argentinian things out of that cup with like the metal straw they all drink. Oh, no. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think it's called mate. Maybe. But this Whatever. matcha is green tea leaves that they grow them under a tarp to make them so they have to fight harder to like get to the sun or something. And then it makes them just like stronger. Yeah. That's a yerba mate. Also, yeah. Texas has a caffeinated plant, one of the only caffeinated plants indigenous to North America, called the wapon. Matt, what have you been up to? <laughs> Research. You got so much information. I went to the farmer's market, dude. The guy yeah. told me I drank it. It's what, like what is it? It's called the wapon. It's wapon tea. It's Y A U P O N. The wapon, and it's like a, it just grows in like trees here and there. Yeah, it's it's kind of from the yerba mate family, but it's like a I think it's like a holly kind of thing or something. There it is. They grow them. They grow, there's like trees that just grow this shit, and you can make caffeinated tea out of it around here. Really? Don't eat the berries, though. Berries will get you. Yeah. But if you just fucking simmer those leaves, you can make yourself if a... If I was a young man, I might give those berries a shot. <laughs> make a potion from Go my out cousin. of the woods and try to eat things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Wapon plant. We didn't think we, you didn't think we had a caffeinated plant here in North America, turns I out. I never... Yeah, I didn't think we did. I was confident. I got some of that stuff. I got an extract in my house. I'm going to make some Wapon tea. You're going to go nuts. There's some other compounds, though, because there's caffeine in it. There's theobromine, which theobromine is the stuff that kills dogs and chocolate. And then there's, uh, like, theophysylene, some other shit. I'm yeah. Like, I never had theophysylene. I don't know how my body Who knows? Going. I could have. A, most likely, I'll just get anxious and think I'm going to die for a little bit and be fine. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You're going to be back in a week being like, turns out I'm allergic to theo... Theophysylene. Theophysylene. <laughs> I believe it. I've been champing it, man. I've been drinking coffee at like noon. Dude, my, my regimen here is wake up, put a hard dent in my rings, any means necessary. Yeah. Whether it's Peloton, whether it's me fucking sprinting as fast as I can along the track. Yes. And I crush it. And then around 10 or 11, I eat a humongous meal. And then I go, lately, I, I got to get the keys to come here to write because I've been going to a coffee shop. Yeah. Which has been kind of fun because I get to just observe people. And it's kind of fun to just watch, you know, younger generation just sit in a coffee shop and do coffee shop How stuff. How are they? What are they up to? so i was sitting next to her and i was like i was like dude and you have to lecture your wife before bed dude this was the one i gave her last night i said look i was like i don't know man i was like i don't want to be i'm not being weird about this but i'm like don't you think it's strange that it was completely acceptable to hit children still kind of is a little bit that way less so now but like but that whole time you could hit kids you couldn't even like shove your wife and she was just like what do you mean she's like well you, you're teaching kids i'm like you're not teaching kids lessons but i think you could shove your wife and that I, I was like dude you can like fucking whip i was like you could whip your kid yeah. you could whip him with a belt but if you just like went like that to your wife it's like jail i was like that's fucking weird when if you hit kids like in the, in the 90s oh okay you could i was fully, gonna say up until the 90s they went women first and they, then women children. did get the, yeah women, women might got safe haven first that might have been a coup women might have been like dude it's not me it's them yeah the dads yeah, yeah. were like, <laughs> like i know you're drunk and you want to hit me it used to be i think in the 60s it was completely acceptable to be like yeah i fucking you know yeah. slap her around backhand yeah but it, i was like it's weird that you you can still it's like not completely an abomination to hit children but like to hit your wife is like crazy yeah I was you, like, if you took the belt to a kid these days people would that'd be fucking wild now it would be crazy. Yeah. It would be totally crazy. Yeah, I think everything's off the tables. Yeah. I think everything's off the table. I think you can't hit Because now most of the dads grew up listening to, like, Sublime. Yeah. It's a weird timeline for you to, like, grow up to, like, I am practice Santeria. Yeah. To, like, when you get older, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. It's in there, though, dude. 
If you get, I'll get real mad. If you grew up gonna, listening like, yeah. Now it's like, all right, I'm gonna wail on yeah, some I'm fucking. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of these kids, dude. What it's you, in there though. You, when you have little kids, it's like you really want to. I'll get mad at them, and I'm like, Ugh! and they're just looking at you like, "What the fuck are yeah. you doing?" You're like, "You're not allowed to do that." You're lucky there's laws against this. <laughs> You're lucky the government would come down on me because <laughs> I'd be. It's in there. You dude. should start cutting wrestling promos to your kids. Just, when they start acting like, like, "Oh, brother, when I get old of you." <laughs> uh, yesterday, she they were arguing over some like a fucking cabbage patch doll and like dude she fully like ripped it from chloe and chloe fell on her literally yeah. bopped her head and i walked over like what are you doing and she was yeah. like ah just terrified and i was like my bad dude i came out at you like i was about to beat your fucking ass yeah terrifying them you but, should dude start them with a you can stampede at them you're still allowed to you fucking, can still yeah you can still put the fear of god in yeah them, which i do and i don't and i don't, I don't hit them you're but still I was allowed still, to mountain lion them i was it's basically like, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was basically telling Brittany, I'm like, dude, you should hiss, dude. Oh, I was like, dude, if next you, time your kids start acting up, just <laughs> that actually. Now they'd, they'd, they'd get into that, dude. They'd go, they like they hiss back. Up. If you give full bulging eyes and walk fast towards them, if you count, they spaz. And if you walk fast towards the them, the countdown like, is the countdown. Tales old. It's time. the apocalypse clock, dude. Yeah, kills them. But yeah, I was telling Brittany, I'm like, dude. Yeah, I'm saying if you're gonna smack their bottoms. I can smack your bottom. That was last night. I was like, bro, I'm gonna, there's nothing I want more in this world than to put you over my knee. Yes. <laughs> my wife's ours. <laughs> my wife's ours. Yeah, she was trying to, we had a debate. We, we debated Don't that. Don't bring out the horses. <laughs> <laughs> we debated that last night. She's like, well, you're instilling. And I went, you don't think there's lessons being instilled to you? She went, just you're being ridiculous. Ooh. So, this is kind of yeah, this is a little dirty. A little though, fifty shades. This is yeah. a little fifty shades last night. You've been a bad but it girl. wasn't even sexual, it was purely psychological. Yeah, you were actually serious. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I've been waiting. You don't think get... there's lessons you should learn? <laughs> <laughs> you think you've got it all figured out and my hand can't teach you some lessons? <laughs> The back of mine hand can teach you. I was some telling lessons. her more like physically subdued. I was like, I would never hit you, but I was like, if you can, in theory size differential like smack their bottoms i can f in the moment it costs you and just take a gentle takedown and yeah just be like fucking knock it off yeah non-violent totally within the realm you of can the MAs. google like uh like when i worked for the like a bouncer no uh well i also <laughs> did that you can fucking ragdoll people bouncing but i'm talking uh no, i'm saying like human services there's a way to the people that work at like child facilities oh. there's correct ways to hold them down and gently you could Google the proper, actual, technical way to subdue your wife. <laughs> and that's got to hold up in court. <laughs> that's that's got to be like, that's, that's what, what you guys do to kids. Like a bouncer, you got to put your hip against yeah. them and then just fold their arms over their breasts and then just kind of lift them out. Yeah. I could I could vacate her from the premises. Like a bouncer, just fold her arms yeah. over her breasts, put her on my hip so it's nothing it's time. sexual. Let's go. And just be like, you're all right, that's it. You're fucking, you're, it. Out. you're out. And then, she, you know, for me, she, they can call the cops. The cops will do that. If a girl calls and on the you, the cops will bounce you. Yeah, my husband is scaring me. They'll come bounce you out of your house. Would you swing on them if they came to your house? Would the you fucking go cops? Yeah. Hell yeah. I, if they came in your house in the middle of a domestic conflict. I would get conflict. in a three-point stance and say, dude, <laughs> come through this door. I'm going to pull. I would get in a three-point stance. I'd be like, it's a trap. <laughs> I'm running a guard trap. I'm there would pull. be nothing better. They have to know that, I'm too. I'm going to swing open the hips. Stay low. Dude, if you're arguing, you. arguing with your wife and having the cops come in and being like, I'm just going to punch these guys and just I'm let just going to punch these guys. Let this state just fucking, roll the dice. Yeah, just wanna, see where the I'm dice is. Definitely gonna the punch. You wait till you see this beautiful. This island, seriously. Oh, my God. It looks just like a lady laying down, dude. <sighs> looks like a fat guy with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one to the right. That's the Fiti, dude. It looks like her, she's laying down. Oh, with her giant tits there. I was just looking at this where that's his head and his gut and his bone. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy's nose, his chin. Clearly his gut uh, and his bone. That does look like a guy laying down. <laughs> <Those two stories. laughs> yeah, it was me every night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How's your sleep? Oh, uh, it's been all right. Nice. Yeah, last night the Napoleon audiobook took me right out. Dude. It was very nice. The second Napoleon trailer came out. How's it looking? So pumped, dude. I, I got a fucking Frenchman in my quarters right now. What? We got a dog walker. So we have a dog walker. My wife hired, obviously, like a fucking tall, beautiful Frenchman. I In my head, I was like, I think she's just collecting beautiful people, dude. 
Why do you think that? I don't know. It's just Has I think she collected a, any other beautiful people. Yeah, our fucking beautiful nanny. We have a beautiful <laughs> Brazilian nanny. It's true. It's, the, it's a matter. Yeah, well, of it is good. It is good for her to be like, all right. She, now it's now it's a, now it's mutually assured destruction, dude. It's, just for the record, there's also dude. This. this guy came to my house yesterday. He was a guy was it's kind a cold of, war at this point. It is, dude. <laughs> yeah. it, the guy was kind of funny. So for the record, you know, I, I obviously shied away from just admitting the fact that we have a we have a nanny. We have a ba- it's a babysitter, but she's just there every day helping. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> most days, it's an au pair. She, well, au pairs live with you. Yeah, I've learned. Yeah, that's let's get that done. True, we, we could. I mean, it, it's kind of, well, dude, au pairs, there's like a sick and twisted world where like there's someone in other countries, like you want to be an au pair and they, they just set you up and they kind of like middleman the whole deal. Mm. You can, you can like, they're, they're getting paid like nine bucks an hour. You're paying them more obviously through this company yeah. than they're paid like nine bucks an hour. And dude, oh, there's a world of au pairs that just get like emotionally abused by like mean wives. So you think yeah. about it, you're like a young fucking chick from beautiful foreigner with a beautiful Columbia. Accent. Yeah. And you're just sleeping in like a single bed in the house and you're, you know, yeah. you're like walking outside and the birds just come to you like Cinderella and there's just a fucking lady being like, yeah, yeah. pick up the crumbs. They must love telling the beautiful girl what to do. Dude, no one has a harder boss bone than wives. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, they get to just be like, get that. Nah. It's <laughs> fucked up. It's <laughs> fucked. But now I have this fucking beautiful Frenchman in my house. It's yeah. crazy. I don't know what's Does he what. have long hair? Long enough, dude. Dude, he came in. You know the like picture that. he gave me the St. Matthew, the inspiration of St. Matthew? Yeah. He came in and was like naming the artist. I'm eating my breakfast. Uh, he's like, oh, it's a beautiful Caravaggio. Dude, dude just literally. Just shut the fuck I'm eating up. my breakfast. Just I'm hearing this. They're in another room. I'm going, son of a bitch. I'm eating my breakfast. How the he, fuck did he know that was a Caravaggio? <laughs> he comes back in and then like he, he like he comes in the room. He's like, oh, hey, I'm like, hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm eating. And then he goes back into the other room, comes back out and goes, Bon Appetit. And I'm like, dude, if you don't get the fuck out of my goddamn house, hit me with a Bon Appetit. And then so we're sitting there talking and he's like, by the way, is it okay if my girlfriend come and stay? And I'm like, at the house? While he's watching the dogs. I was like, yes, absolutely. Yeah, okay. bring her around. Bring her around, dude. He like he was like, check out her come picture. On, America. Dude, bring he goes, around. you can see her picture. You can get her energy from the picture. I'm like, dude, stop, dude. Stop naming painting what is this guy? and talking about energies. He's a French. What's he French doing guy. here? He's like teaches. He teaches probably fucking like sex art or something. Yeah. I don't know. He, <laughs> he teaches like sex art at community college. He teaches a Kama Sutra at community college. Invite him over here to swim. I might. I, I might see him in a dude, speedo. He's tall, dude. He's tall. Is he skinny? He goes, if, yeah, he's tall. He's a tall, skinny a Frenchman dick. who teaches probably like art online. Huge giant dick, definitely. <laughs> and then, dude, and then he says, "Bon appetit." Dude, no joke. Bon appetit to a man eating breakfast is <laughs> it fucking crazy. It made me laugh. It's I was so just like, crazy. You just came back in here to say that, and then part of me got jealous. Like, I wish I did that shit, where I got to be like, "Bon appetit." Enjoy your food. You don't want to be that. I obviously not, but I'm saying it's yeah. nice to be that tethered into like some sort of like. You're just that locked into some sort of context where you're just kind of like a man's eating, bon appetit. Yeah. Good food, good people, good friends. It's a beautiful place. That's what I love about the Spanish culture. Yeah. They are locked into that. Like, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. You know, they're not just unmoored outside being like, what is, what even is a thing? You get to just make that man's eating. Enjoy. I hope you're enjoying your food. Yeah. I love food myself. As a Frenchman, we have the best cuisine. You're just a fucking pull string character. Yeah. He's actually, the guy kind of rules though. He was like, can my babe come? And he was like, <laughs> showed pictures. And Brittany's like, oh, I'd show off that girl too. And just starts breaking his balls. He's like, oh, this is very funny. Is she hot? I didn't get to see. I, I, cause I was like, let me see. I was about to be like, let me see. And I was kind of like. I should not, not ask. Gonna, yeah, I was like, I'm not going to dig in. The dude was kind of nice though. He's like, every day, he's like, is it okay if I leave her a little bit? He goes, I go to the gym for two hours How long time. is he walking these dogs? Takes him for half hour walks, dude. He sat down and just sat on the floor, and the dogs just came to him and like were like kissing his face. And he goes, "Okay, okay, <laughs> okay." <laughs> dude, it was it was so sexual. How wait? How long? When he leaves, he takes breaks while walking the dogs. Well, no, he he's gonna come dog sit. So we're gonna go away. Oh, when you're gone, he's gonna yes, be in yes, the crib yes. with his babe, okay. just crushing. They're in a long distance relationship, so he's gonna be crushing. Oh my this babe, god, annihilating this babe. You're gonna sniff the couch when you get home, aren't you? <laughs> I might set up some nanny cam. You bro. and the dogs are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I might ask Jackson, like, what did he do? What? Jackson? Speak, speak. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Tell me what he did. <laughs> but yeah, it was making me laugh. I'm like, dude, what the fuck's going on? But yeah, the dude, he was cracking me up. He was very fucking funny. 
Okay, very good. The, the, the energy, you can tell by looking at my girlfriend. I just want to show you her because you can get their energy and see what people are about. But he was like, let me see her driver's license. Give me a copy of her driver's license. I'm going to run her background. He was like, well, what, what is that for? Damn. Yeah, she hit him with that. That's intense. She's like, I guess I guess I could. That would not be a huge problem. My brother okay, would where never. Where does she live? Is she not French? She lives in like fucking, no, she's, she's from American. Oh. Or maybe she lives in America. She's but got an American babe. I imagine it's American babe. What a beast! How long has he been in America? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even. I dude, I was I was minimal. I was just minimal yeah, yeah, conversation. Yeah. I was just kind of strictly business. Strictly business. Say, I said, "Look, pick up the dog shit." How shut long up you gotta walk the these guys? Appetite. It's all about fucking boner hippie, appetite. French fucking hippie. 